Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, minister, and prophet, M. Jamais. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you. We cherish you. Thank you, Father, for all that you're doing through your holiness and morals that you teach throughout your word. Brings us to the spiritual place that we need to be. Correctness of, your, of the spirit that we have in our living soul. Doing what is correct for you, Father. That, that you called us the redeemed through the Shekinah glory of Yeshua died on the cross for us. We thank you, Father. We praise you. Amen. All right. Today's lesson is called Jubilees. Um, about Shema, which means war. Jubilees chapter 11, 1 through 24. 1 through 24 of the 11 through Jubilees. Amen. And it says in the th uh, 35th of Jubilees, in the third week, in the first year thereof, a ruby took to himself a wife, and her name was Aura, the daughter of Ur Ur, the son of uh, Akestin. She bore a son, and she called his name uh, Sero. In the seventh year of this week, in this jubilee, the sons of Noah began to war on each other, to take captives of and uh, slay each other and shed the, the blood of men and women of the earth and eat, eat blood and build strong cities and walls and towers and individual began to uh, exalt themselves above the nations and to found the, the beginnings of kingdoms and go to war with people against peoples, nation against nation and cities against cities and all began to do evil, and to acquire arms and teach their sons of war. And they began to capture cities and sell male and female slaves. And, and your, the son of uh, Kesh said, built a city of, of Ara, of the Kestes, Kestians, and called the name after his own name, and the name of his father. And they made for themselves molted image, and they worshiped each of the idols and molted images which they had made for themselves, and began to make graven images and unclean uh, spirits, and mingle spirits and, uh, uh, and with uh, seductions, and, and committing transgressions and unclean practices. And the prince uh, Ma, uh, Mas, Masoma uh, extended himself to do all this, and he sent forth other spirits of those which were put under his hand to do all manner of wrongs and sins, and matter of transgressions and corruption and destruction, and the shedding of blood upon the earth. For this reason he called the name of uh, uh, Siron uh, and Sirug for everyone to turn to do all manner of sin and transgressions. And he uh, grew up and dwelled in Ur of the Castians, near the, the father of the wife and mother, and, and worship idols. And he took to himself a wife in the 36th jubilee and uh, the fifth week, the first of thereof. And the name was uh, Melka and, and the daughter of uh, Keber and the daughter of his father's brother. And she bore him neighbor in the uh, first year of the week. And he grew and, and dwelled in Ur of the Castians. And his father taught him the uh, research of the Castians to divine and uh, erg, 
according to the signs of the heavens in the 37th jubilee of the sixth week in the first year. And he took for himself a wife, and her name was Ijaska, the daughter of uh, Nestag of the Chastians. And she bore him uh, Tara, Tara, Tara. And uh, the 17th year of that week, and the prince of uh, Mesterum uh, sent ravens and birds to devour the seeds which were sown into the land in order to destroy the land and rob the children of men of their labors before they had seed. And the ravens picked it in, in the surface of the ground. And for this reason, it was called he called his name uh, Tira, because the ravens and the birds are reduced the destruction and devour their seed. And the, the year began to be barren, and, and all of the birds and, and the devouring of the fruits of the trees and from the trees. And it was only a great effort that they could save a little of the fruit of each year. Uh, um, and the 39th Jubilees, the second week in the first year, Atira took for himself a wife, and her name was Edna, the daughter, uh, the, the daughter of, of Abram, the daughter of his father's sister. And the seventh year of the week, she bore him a son, and he called his name Abram. By the name of the of the father of his mother, for he had died before his daughter had conceived a son, and the and the child began to understand the errors of the earth that all went astray, and their graven images, and after the uncleanness, and his father taught him writing, and he was two weeks of years old. And he separated himself from his father, and he, and that he might not worship the idols with him. And he began to pray to the creator of all things, and he might save him from the errors of the children of men, that his portion should not fall into error after uncleanness and villainy. And the seed's time came for the for the sowing of the seeds unto the earth. And they all went forth together to protect their seeds against the ravens. And Abram went forth with them, that when and, and the children were uh, was uh, laid to the 14th year. And the, the cloud of ravens came to devour the seeds. And Abram ran to meet with them before they settled to the ground and cried to them before they settled to the ground to devour the seed and says, uh, uh, discern not, return to your place where thou hence came. And, and they per proceeded to turn back. And he came to the crowd of ravens and turned back that day. Seventy times, and of all the ravens throughout all the land, where Abram was there, setting there not to much as as one raven came, and all who were with him throughout all the land saw him cry out, and all the ravens turned back, and his name became great in all the land of Chestians, and there came to him. This year all these that wish to sow. And he went with them until the time of sowing seed. And they sowed their seed that year and brought enough grain home to eat and were satisfied. And in the first year of the fifth week, Abram taught those who made implants for the ox. 
and and the uh, artifacts of wood, and they made a vessel ab above the ground, facing the frame of of it, in order to put the the seed thereof. And the the seed fell down their form unto the the share on the prow of the plows, and was uh, hidden to the earth, and no longer feared the ravens. So this is where the first scarecrow came and the plow came from, from the teachings that that uh, Abram got from God, from praying to God. So this is where uh, these things come from. Amen. And after the matter, they made vessels and above the ground of all the farmers of the of their plows. And they sold their uh, and tilled their land according as Abram commanded them. And they no longer feared the birds. Amen. Isn't this wonderful? This is where the true farmer spirit came from. From Abram that became Abraham. Amen. Because he was right with God. And even though the Everybody on the earth want to do wars and do false idols. It kind of sounds like today's world. You know, we need to be like Abram. We need to be like Noah. Abram that became Abraham. We need to be more like Noah. We need to be more like Abraham. Amen. We need to we be separated before God. Even though everybody wants to do the false idols and worship and, and bow down and kiss the boots of, of the government, the governments and and, and kiss the feet of their medications and kiss the feet of their of, of the news corporate news media and and all the tech giants and all that so, oh we worship you yeah you're so great and all of them are idols and they all will be teared down at the end by Yahweh this is he 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 did it with with Noah and he did it with Abraham he would do it with us that are faithful to him. For I tell you, we must be like the generations of Noah. And we must have the, 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 the ability of understanding like Abram did, that there's one God of creation, not many false gods like governments and CEOs and Hollywood and all the, the garbage of the, of the corporate news media. And don't you dare worship your nation because it's all created things that God allowed that went wrong. You worship the creator and not the creation of, that he made. For this is the error of mankind. It's like it was the error of that day. But God saw Abram. God saw Noah. Amen. And God saw Seth. Does he see you? Or does he see this joining in with the, the crowd that's going to be destroyed at the end for their foolishness? Are you going to be like Noah? Are you going to be like Abram that became Abraham? Are you going to be faithful to God? Are you going to are you going to be like the crowd that 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 went against God's commandments and went to war and bloodshed and all kinds of garbage, dietrous things? Are you going to be like Noah and Abram, men of righteousness? Amen. Choose this day who you will serve. Either you serve the God that's a holy God or an unholy created thing named Satan that will destroy you at the end. He'll promise you all kinds of things, but at the end thereof, he will destroy you. It's like he destroyed everything else. You need to depend on the God of creation that loves you. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh. And the, the reason why Yahweh is the name above all names. And it's the way it is. You don't argue with me because it is. Those that study God's word will know that perfectly. The reason why Yeshua said he had the name above all names in him is because he had Yah in his name. And he would never said that. He would never go against the greater half of who he is. Do you understand that? The word Yah, Yahav, Yahah, 
is is the first part of what God is, okay? And the vahat, the vahat means the, the, the light source, which represents the spirit part of God, the great spirit of Jesus. He's the vahat. The yaha is, is the part of who God is, which he is the, the power c connected to all things. That means he's the... If you don't have Yahweh in your life, you're not you do not have the power source in your life. And if you don't have the great spirit, which is the Shekinah, which is Jesus Christ, which is the Vahat, you do not have the, the light source of life in you. So you must have both parts of who God is. Amen. The Yaha and the Vahat. Yahu Vaha Yahweh. Which is which what the, a lot of the Jews call sacred, or when they, they say Shem, which means the holy name. Amen. So I pray that you be more like Noah, a generation of Noah, a ge generation of Abram, Abraham, and go forth in the light of God, the light source of God upon your life, and the power of the connected of, of of who he is is God Yahweh and and Amen our Hashem and our beautiful light source of all man to all mankind Yeshua Hamashiach Amen and this is why Yahweh is the name above all names because it contains both who he is God and who he is is his innermost being his spirit is Amen. So let's repent of these things and turn to the living God. Let us be the people of Noah, the people of Abraham again. Let's be the generations of that. And I would throw in the, the being like the Maccabees, the new Maccabees too. Amen. So God bless you. Let's end with the Shalom prayer. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Wholeness that brings peace to pass is wholeness standing, never severed, never broken. Because wholeness of God is upon your life, so that the peace that passes on standing should kind of be made manifest and full in you, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Father, I pray over those that have heavy laden. I pray for those that are sick and heavy laden. Father, it's your will that people shouldn't be suffering. For it's, it's, it's Satan's will that wants people to suffer. And he makes these politicians uh, confused and makes them want to do things that they shouldn't do. And makes it hard on the people when it doesn't need to be. For our Father, I ask that you touch them uh, through faith and not by sight. I thank you, Father. For it's your, you that are touching them. You just use uh, vessels of honor to pray over them, to be that human touch that they need, to realize that the God of creation that they don't see loves them and wants to heal them all from all their infirmities. We thank you and praise you, Father God. Shalom be upon them now, I pray. O oh, Father Yahweh, and the great spirit of all, the Shekinah, Jesus Christ, be established, Yahshua, now. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Be a good cheer. The word of God says, my little flock, for I will come the world, even our faith. This is what the Shekinah Yeshua said in his word. Be of good cheer. Shalom.